Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a little different than anything I've done before. It's going to be featuring all of my red lip products. Someone had requested recently that I do a video um, on red lipsticks, my favorite red lipsticks and brands. And I went into looking into that and truth is I only have two red lipsticks. Um, you know, red lipstick isn't really my kind of thing, I guess. Um, so I don't have a million of them, but then I kind of went scavenging through my drawers. I found things like a lip butter and a stain and lip glosses and lip balms. So it all kind of accumulated to a bunch of different red lip products, not just lipsticks. So I hope that whoever requested this video enjoys it for what it is and it's helpful and uh, let's just jump into it. So I have a total of 10 red lip products here today, so that's a nice number to feature. So first I will start with the lipsticks. My favorite red lipstick in my collection is the Viva Glam Cindy by MAC. This is just the perfect looking red color for me. Not too blue, not too orange, not too cool or warm. It's just perfect for my skin tone and I absolutely love it. The next lipstick is the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede. This is in Couture. This one has more of a cool blue undertone. Um, and it has kind of a staining effect. That's Couture right there. So I actually um, did a first impression video on this and it was I think my first first impression video and I really liked how it came out so if you're interested on kind of my first thoughts of it um, I'll link that in the description box below. My next lip product is the Wild Watermelon Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter. Oh my gosh I absolutely love this lip butter um, it doesn't have sparkle in it so ignore the sparkle that's from one of the lip glosses I used over it but it's just the nicest brightest red that's buildable but you can wear sheer so it's not going to look crazy if you're kind of transitioning into wearing reds um, I just love it it's not just for summer I'm gonna wear this well into the fall and I really enjoy it this next product is the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm. This is in number 250. I know this had a name, however the name comes off with the packaging, so I don't know what it's called. But I do have it on my lips today, um, along with a kind of pink lip gloss over it. But again, another buildable shade. Ignore the eyeliner there, my bad. <laughs> another buildable shade, and this one has more of a staining effect. The next product is actually a lip liner. This is the Maybelline Lip Liner in number 50, Red. It's just called Red. I just got this for a simple, classic red look. You can layer this under a lipstick. You can wear it alone for a more matte effect, but it's a classic red. It's not that expensive, and it's kind of just one of those staples you should have in your collection. Next product is the Steel Lip Glaze. This is in Strawberry. So, let me see if it'll come out. Alright, so it's that first one swatched over the eyeliner. Right there, a nice tinted red that you can build up and you can wear alone and it's just a nice tint, it's not anything insane. The only thing I don't like is the steel lip glazes are pretty sticky. Not my favorite lip glosses. Next thing is a Dum Dum's Cherry Lip Balm, which has no color. So, it has no color. It's right there, though. But, smells like a cherry dum-dum, which were my favorite dum-dums of all time. Next on the lip balm craze is the Maybelline Baby Lips. And this is, um, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a cherry flavor for sure. Again, a nice buildable color. It's weird because it actually kind of looks like a purpley red, but it's a very nice tone on your lips. Another lip balm sort of like that is the Nivea A Kiss of Flavor Cherry. Now this has more of an opaque red look than the baby lips, as you can see right there, a little bit darker and less purpley. And personally I like the smell of this one a lot better. It smells, this is weird, it smells a little less like cherry, but it smells so good. Don't ask me what I mean by that. <laughs> And then last but not least is the e.l.f. Candy Shop Lip Gloss in Cherry Bomb, which honestly I should probably get rid of because it's really old. I don't really use it anymore. I just love smelling it. <laughs> yeah, I'm that weird person. 
but a very light tint. This is like the lightest tint you will get from this collection if you just want barely anything and then your next step up would be the Stila lip glaze. So there's my awesome red fun swatched hand. Just know that this one right here is the cherry dum dum so technically it's a swatch. So that's it. Those are my I guess you can call them top 10 red lip products um, even though they're the only red lip products that I own, but I just wanted to fulfill every request that I can get to. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this for what it's worth, and definitely check out my next video, which I am hoping is my next Halloween tutorial. Um, I don't want to give anything away, but it's going to be a really fun tutorial. Um, I'm going to be filming that tomorrow, and so it'll go up right after this video. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that, and I hope you enjoyed my zombie Halloween makeup tutorial. I posted that last Friday. And that's the most excited I've ever been for anyone to ever see my video, ever. <laughs> so, um, and I spent the most time ever editing it, and I just love how it came out, and I hope you guys did too. So, thanks for all the great comments that I've gotten so far, and I hope that you guys spread the word that now I'm making Halloween tutorials. So hopefully that'll get um, some more people drawn into, you know, more creative type videos like that. So I will see you in my next video, and thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Bye.